Okay, the verdict is in, and they're saying verdict be damned on Wall Street. Excuse the language. I, I Help me understand. I want to hear your all's opinion on this. I'll tell you mine, but holy smokes, what a circus. Over the weekend, buckle up, here we go. This episode is brought to you by Hidden Hybrid Holsters. Right here is one of their classics. This is the single clip appendix. You have Amish leather here, and then up front, you've got Kydex that locks everything in. This up against your body, you got a couple choices. Right against your skin is fine, or you can put a t-shirt in between you and the appendix carry. It's hiddenhybridholsters.com. You're going to love them. Tell them I sent you when you get over there. Once again, hiddenhybridholsters.com. You people, thank you for every thumbs up. I'll talk more about it on Wednesday and Friday, but holy smokes, the I'll say the reaction from y'all for Spicy Friday and then Spicy Friday After Dark was fantastic. What a fun weekend. Thank y'all. The verdict is in. This article came out here and says from Bloomberg, Wall Street billionaires are rushing back to Trump. Verdict be damned. A growing number of financial elites are throwing their weight behind Trump, who was found guilty in the first criminal trial of a former U.S. president. Yeah, found guilty, and you can say whatever you want to about that, but all other presidents combined have zero convictions, and Trump is riding the train as the conviction king. It's entertaining. It's scary. This is what we've come to. And uh, But it looks like that Wall Street is like right behind them. Here's my question for y'all. Where are y'all at? Does this conviction make you more likely to vote for him? My opinion, I told you I would tell you, is you don't have to be a Republican. Man, I get mad at that party a lot. But you can't be, you can't be a Democrat. You don't have to be Republican, but you can't be Democrat. That's where I'm at in 2024. Uh, I voted for Trump in the primary on Super Tuesday, and if he is on the ballot, unless something changes, I'll vote for him, thankfully and proudly, again, but I still reserve the right to be mad at him, and I think we all should be mad at probably all politicians at this point, most of them, most of them, but uh, gladly, glad to vote. Does this make you more likely? Are you moving towards him or away from him? Here's an interesting article. I've been holding on this one. Uh, this one came out in late March, and I haven't shown it to y'all. It's from Billboard magazine. It says this, why? Why have so few music stars endorsed the sniffer for president so far? While some in the industry are concerned about the lack of public support from artists to date, others say it's not time to panic just yet. We have talked a lot about this, and I know Jared's talked about it. And we talk with all of my friends and stuff. We got theories and ideas, and we have stuff that we say like publicly, and then things that are just kind of ideas. Uh, the stuff that's been coming out about Big Mike and uh, Gavin Newsom is a little bit, maybe they're the, the ones that are going to be running. We'll know in just a few more weeks, but they cannot run that dirty old pervert again. I, I'll believe it when I see it. I don't think they're going to run. So the point is this. Yeah, the music industry, the celebrities, the big names, they had to drag out a dinosaur, Robert De Niro, the other day to go, I vote for him. The issue is the big celebs are not making a stand for Biden. Is it because Biden is a dawdling old pervert that is driving this country into the into the ground or because the playbook is not ready? The, the play's not, it's not time yet. They haven't played the card. They know. The celebrities and all of the machine of the DNC, they know to wait just a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know. We got the conviction. We have a dawdling old man that shakes hands with ghosts that probably isn't going to run, whispers about Big Mike and his giant penis running, and the other penis being Gavin Newsom running. I don't know. Where are y'all at? What a fun Monday. Conviction be damned. See y'all soon. This gun fits my hand better than this one does. Diabetes.